this series was to reimagine the Western art genre. So you can see different influences in, in this. There's Cubism, um, there's some Abex stuff in there, there's primitive, there's folk art. There's a lot of different things going on with these images. Um, there's graphic design. So for 25 years, I had a design and advertising studio. Uh, these two pieces were up at the National Cowboy and Historic um, Museum up in Oklahoma City last November uh, because I was asked to enter them. This is a series that's been incredibly well received for whatever reason, and I was talking to Sarah earlier. It's really cross-generational because there's a lot of people my age, a lot of people my kids' age, 20s, 30s, and then there are folks that are older that are enjoying and buying the pieces, and, and that's really gratifying, and that wasn't the goal going into it at all. It was just I want to create something in the Western art genre that's, that's really different. My, my method here is my ideas always start here. Always start here, and then they go to a sketch pad. So the way I work is the ideas are here, the concept is here, and normally I'll work with a specific theme. So I like coming up with a concept, locking onto it, and then playing it out. Is once I have these sketches where I want them, I will scan those into my computer. I'll scan them into my computer to do my color studies. Say in the past, I could do three studies or four studies, traditional with paint. <clears throat> now I can do 30 or 40 studies, refine, redefine, um, to get exactly what I'm wanting. Certainly leaving room for serendipitous things to happen while I'm producing the art. But what I'll do is I'll output my color study on an eight and a half by 11 piece of paper, and I'll use that as my go by for my painting. Now, what I used to do, and normally I work large, and so what I used to do is I would take that color study in one hand and a pencil in the other hand and just start to draw that composition on the canvas. So I went online to find one of those old school projectors, overhead projectors that you had in junior high or elementary school. So I use that. So I, I will draw out on a piece of translucent paper uh, an overhead, something that I can put on there and I'll project what I've already drawn, what I've already worked out on paper, I'll project that and it, it streamlines the process.